Hello and welcome back to my channel. My local work store has closed for refurbishment and I was in need of some more paper so I went on their website. While I was browsing I discovered this. This is four times 20 gram blocks of oven baked clay. On further inspection I discovered it was polymer clay. So I asked on a few polymer clay Facebook groups if anybody had used it and what they thought of it. No one seemed to know anything about it, so it appears to be a new product. I then did a search on their site for polymer clay and also came up with this. This is Das Smart and it's also oven baked clay. The price seems to be good too. The Das Smart is 57 grams or a 2 ounce pack, which is the same as Fimo and it costs £2, whereas Fimo is usually between £2.50 to £3. The craft place clay is £2 for 80 grams, which seems very good value. So I placed an order and waited for it to arrive. We'll start with this one. It's branded as the craft place, which is actually the work's own brand. Looking at the back I can see it's made in China for the works. Each pack contains four bars of 20 grams of clay in various colours, and I found six different packs. This one is white, black with a couple of browns. This one is yellows, orange and another brown. Here we have four different shades of green. This one has two shades of light blue, a green and a dark blue. This is various pinks and reds. And finally purples. Unlike Fimo, which bakes at 110 degrees C, this bakes at between 120 and 130 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. I can't seem to find out much about Das Smart Clay, apart from it's manufactured in Italy, and it bakes at 130 degrees, and it states it shouldn't be baked for any longer than 30 minutes. So both clays bake at a higher temperature than Fimo. The Das Smart is packaged in two one ounce packs which are fastened together. I quite like that idea as it means if you're only using part of it the other half stays sealed away from dust. I decided just to buy a couple of colours that I was short of. This one is metallic copper, this one is silver and this one is black. This is opal white, unfortunately I only received half of the pack. I emailed the works and they replied saying that they couldn't send out another one and that they'd refund my account, which they did straight away, so I'll give them credit there. While I was also on their website, I ordered a set of these colour detailers. These are silicon headed brushes and I like to use particularly the pointed one for blending clay and smoothing out joins. At £3 I thought they were really good value. I have bought some of these on eBay and when they arrived they were absolutely tiny so I'm glad these are a decent size. Just as a point of interest, the DAS Smart packaging indicates that they are tutorials on YouTube, however the only ones I could find were in Italian. Having another search online, I found the DAS Smart as little as £1.49, but that didn't include postage, however it would make sense if you wanted to buy quite a lot. So, are these a cost effective alternative to Fimo? Let's find out. So I'm going to start with the works own brand clay. It comes packaged in a cardboard box, with each block set in a moulded plastic tray and sealed in a plastic bag. It's quite fiddly to get out of the packaging and he had to tear the plastic. It's very, very soft and sticky. I'm used to Fimo and Fimo is quite hard from the pack and needs a lot of conditioning to get it workable. This is more like putty. You can see how easily it pulls apart. This may be a good alternative to Fimo if you've trouble using your hands due to conditions such as carpal tunnel syndrome, but for me it feels just a little too soft. It's very easy to work but I'm not sure how well it will keep its shape or how much detail it will hold. Next we have the Das Smart Clay. Again it's actually quite difficult getting into the packaging. The first thing you notice is that the clay is in a thin sheet, and it feels quite crumbly. The texture is not at all like Fimo and it will need conditioning to get it into a workable state.
It only took a few minutes to condition the DAS Smart Clay. Neither of these clays have any instructions on the packaging about the need to condition it. The DAS Smart is quite soft, but not as soft as the Works Own brand, but it is very sticky. I'm going to knock up a couple of test pieces and cure them in the oven. The first thing I noticed when working with the Craft Place clay is that it's very soft and very sticky. It was actually difficult to sculpt anything with it, as it moves out of shape so easily. On the other hand, the DAS Smart clay became quite soft quite quickly, but it also stayed sticky, making it difficult to work with compared to Fimo. I also found that the DAS Smart wanted to stick to my hands more than it wanted to stick to other pieces of clay. So the first thing I made was this little sheep. The white is the DAS Smart clay and the pink the Works Own brand. This is built around a foil ball, so it's not solid clay. However, Craft Place clay legs did not want to support the body and they deformed out of shape quite a bit. It was also difficult to sculpt the face. And the DAS Smart white balls didn't want to stick to the body and kept coming away. The eagle eyed amongst you may notice that this piece is burnt. This is due to me buying a new oven thermometer and it's very slow to read. I'd set the oven to 130 degrees and after 5 minutes the temperature light had gone out but the thermometer was only showing 100 degrees so I turned the oven up. When I came back to it it was reading 150 degrees so that will teach me a lesson. However you can clearly see the DAS Smart clay has burnt but the Craft Place clay shows no signs of scorching. I tried a couple of other things. I made a little toadstool out of the Craft Place clay. It was difficult to sculpt and almost impossible to get any real detail. When I took it out of the oven and let it cool, the stalk stuck to the tile that it was baked on and came away from the top. I would recommend this only for someone desperate to try polymer clay on a budget to see if it may be something they'd like to take up, or for young children, as there's very little conditioning needed. The next thing I tried was a mould. This is the Works Own brand clay and I just quickly marbled a couple of colours together. Being so sticky it was difficult to get it to stay in the mould and it wasn't easy to clean the edges up. This also stuck to the tile when it was baked. The DAS Smart Clay was also quite difficult to mould due to it being sticky and it kept sticking to my fingers and pulling out of the mould. The most disappointing thing about this clay is it's supposed to be metallic copper and to me it looks just like a brick colour. There's no metallic sheen and no evidence of any mica being in the clay. So just to sum it up, I won't be buying either of these two clays again. To me it's worth spending a little bit more and buying Fimo. Fimo may be more work to condition initially, but once conditioned it stays that way for quite a while. Whereas the DAS Smart, it was easy to condition, but went too soft and sticky and then hardened up again quickly. The Craft Place clay is very soft and sticky, difficult to work with and doesn't hold a shape well. I hope you found this video helpful, if you have please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.